week, state regulators will hold a hearing on a proposed rule change that would require more documentation in order for an abortion to be covered by Medicaid. MTN senior political reporter Jonathan Ambarian takes a closer look at what the change could mean for patients and providers. The Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services says additional documentation is needed to ensure that the state's Medicaid program is only covering abortions that are medically necessary. But some advocates say that would be an unnecessary barrier to accessing an abortion. DPHHS has proposed a change to state rules requiring prior authorization before Medicaid pays for abortion services. The federal government prohibits Medicaid funding for abortions except in cases of rape, incest, and when the mother's life is endangered. But Montana, using state funds, covers any abortion that a physician determines to be medically necessary. DPHHS leaders say a review concluded Medicaid-funded abortion claims should come with more supporting information. The proposed the proposed rule would require including medical history, a physical examination, and documentation on the diagnosis. In a statement to MTN, DPHHS Director Charlie Brereton said, quote, DPHHS must ensure that abortions paid for by Montana taxpayers under Medicaid are truly medically necessary in accordance with the law. We welcome comment on the proposed rule and look forward to further protecting the integrity of our Medicaid program through its finalization and implementation. But opponents of the change are expressing concern about the impact to those seeking an abortion. It's functionally a abortion ban for low-income families. If individuals have private health insurance, they don't have to go through these hoops. Aileen Gleiser, a communications consultant with Blue Mountain Clinic, says about half of the clinic's abortion patients are covered by Medicaid. Gleiser is also a board member for the Susan Wickland Fund, which provides financial assistance for women seeking an abortion. She said the rule changes would particularly impact those who live a long way from the nearest abortion provider. Abortions are a time-sensitive service, so the mandatory prior authorization is particularly harmful. Um, it would delay abortions later in pregnancy. It would make them more expensive, more invasive, require a longer recovery. Um, and it would also fully eliminate uh, telehealth, as I've mentioned. DPHHS will hold the public hearing on the proposed rule change Thursday at 1 p.m. through remote conferencing. The department will accept public comment on the proposed change through January 20th. In Helena, Jonathan Amberian, MTN News.